because that's when I first noticed you because the, the video went super viral. Yeah, it did. And, it did, though. And that's, so that's when I first did. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Was that you singing or was that you? It was me singing over top of her voice. Okay. And then it was one part where it was me just singing over top of the beat. Okay. So it was like both. But my boy James Jones, shout out to him. Um, I was talking to him about it, and he was like, you know who you remind me of? You remind me of Aaliyah. And I was like, you know what? I should do a tribute. And it was around, this, it was perfect timing because this was around the time that they had that whack old. Um, Lifetime movie. Yeah, it was coming, coming out too. Yeah, yep, it was coming out. Was right that was before. so bad. And then when I seen, it, I was like, you know what? They could have came to Baltimore <laughs> and found Aaliyah. <laughs> and my Twitter was booming that day too. Man, you did a good job on that. You did a really good job. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you. If if you haven't seen the Aaliyah tribute, it's on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, and you can go to Merlin Rivers tribute to Aaliyah, and it'll pop right on up. Okay. It looks uh, like her, but it's me. <laughs> it's kind of scary. <laughs> anybody, anybody ever tell you that? People always tell me that when I used to wear my hair longer, mm -hmm. but now that I went through this short phase, um, people don't say it as much. They always say, uh, Sanaa Lathan. They always so say Sanaa, I get that nah. too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see her there. <laughs> I see her there. I see her there. Do you, um, like, look up to her? I love her. I love her. Like, I, I, I was just telling my manager when we was coming here, I said, I, I remember I went to 92Q at 15 years old, dressed like a Leah, and was like, I want to do the Leah movie. They thought it was funny. They said, why is this? I caught the bus. I was like, I really? want to be Aaliyah. Yes. I love her. Aaliyah is definitely one of those people. Uh, to me, she's like, I, somebody probably will disagree. But to me, she's iconic. She is. She's, she's very much so. She has set her own trend, ever, everything. Like, a lot of people, if you ever see, like, different celebrities, everyone pulls from her. I don't, like, you know, I, I look at a lot. And mm -hmm. I look at from even down to where, the, you know, certain artists, they, you know, they show their stomach, they wear their hair over their eye, they might um, have, like, snakes in their videos or the, the way they dance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I know she, she, she danced very, very well. Smooth, but very well. And um, even down to the beats. Sometimes, like, some people, even, like, Drake even knows, like, Aaliyah is, like, top. Now, he wanted to redo her whole album. Yeah. Yeah, so. Y'all killed that. Yeah. Y'all killed that. You, and you know what else? I, I want to give a shout out to the guys that danced in the Leah tribute. Yes. Because, let me tell you. Who were they? Well, one of them was Robbie Q. It, it was Robbie Q. He actually was the stylist for the video. And oh Wait my goodness. He I made him, the whole video Yeah, I made him dance. I made him learn the wow. dance steps. We did it in two days. Two days we did that. We pulled that off. Y'all killed that. Shout out to Robbie. I mean, I even did my own hair. It mean, I mean, it got really, like, serious. Was, like, I mean, was it was in the living room. I knew I seen a couple of living room <laughs> shots. <laughs> I seen the living room shots. I was like. <laughs> it, was, it was his living room, but he had the chair. That if you look at the Leah video and look at the, the video that I did in the tribute, mm -hmm. it's the same goddamn on couch. Yeah, everything. Because first when I first saw it, I was like. They, they bring out Aaliyah. You know, I'm thinking they promoting a movie, bringing out yes. old pictures. That look close. That ain't the man. Who the hell is that? Like, if your girl only knew on that video, you would see it. And actually, the Shade Rump even posted it. Mm -hmm. Because it came, when I seen the Shade Rump posted, I was like, what the heck? That's yeah. a good look. Yeah. You know, so it was. I watched I, it like I three it. times. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Back to really back, did. like three times. Back oh my goodness, back. did y'all check? Did y'all peep it out in the background? It was the Paradox. I seen that. I, I seen that. that. I seen that. I didn't notice that. I seen so that. So y'all shot at the Paradox? I seen that. <laughs> hey, I ain't noticed yes, that. Yes, we did. I was just trying to figure out who living room that was. <laughs> <laughs> it was raw cute living room, but he did a he did a terrific job. He really did. He pulled it off so quickly, and I was just so determined. And I might have been a B, you know, about it, but he he went on ahead. He did his thing. He was like, I got you. Don't worry about it. I got this. That's what's up. So I was happy in the end. Well, Shamika told me to stop back through, so I had to do my homework on you. <laughs> So I was scrolling through your Instagram, and this is going to be my dub. Me and my wife going to pull this dub smash off on you. Let me see it. This the one. Oh, the happy birthday dub. Yeah, that's a dub smash. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna, I'm a dub smash that. I can't oh wait till somebody's birthday come up so I can dub smash that. But we was just playing your single, which I love, by the way. Thank love, you. love, love. I had to download it on my SoundCloud. Oh, thank you. Loved it. And I also love I Cried. Yes. That's one of my favorites. What can I buy? 
What can we buy? What can the world buy? How can we support Merlin? Yeah, how well, can we buy something? Right now, I have some big, big, big things coming up. I just want y'all to hold on tight with me just for a few, just, just a little bit I want to spend some money. I know, and I really want to receive it. But at <laughs> this point, I just want you to hold on just a little tad bit long. It's not going to be long. Okay. But I just want you guys to wait. And, and it's going to be worth the wait, though. You ain't have to work, wipe your, you know, your forehead no more after this. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth the wait. So you have new management. Yes. The Shout out system. to the Keenan system. Yes, yes, yes. That's definitely a good look for you. So how has it been working with Keenan now? Well, actually, I've been on Keenan for a while. Okay. And Keenan always used to be like, so what's going on, Marilyn? So what you got next? What you got new? Mm -hmm. And every time I used to come in, I'm like, well, I'm doing this. He's like, I'm so happy you still singing. I'm so happy. So I called him one day and was like, I wish you could manage me. He's like, yeah, but uh. So then one day he just called me and was like, uh. You're still interested in that, uh, <laughs> that management. I was like, yes. He's like, I'm going to manage you. I'm going to manage you. And ever since then, it's been smooth. It's been good. Like, the first day, like, after the first day, like, everything was like this. Like, mm -hmm. on time, on beat. Like, and I was like. So, oh, was he managing you doing Summer Jam or Summer? Yeah, no, summer actually, jam? I didn't have a management doing Summer Jam. I, I can tell. That's why I asked. Yeah, I didn't have a management doing Summer Jam. Mm. But. Mm. What's your next big thing? Like, where, where can, can where you gonna perform at? Where can we watch you? Well, I really want to get all this. Mu I got a lot of music, like just coming together right now. So I'm trying to like work on like a really good hit for the clubs too at the same time. Cause like I did, um, I did the boxing too. Did you guys see that on my Instagram? The I did boxing. It, like, I did the boxing show. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah. Oh my! It was a guy in the and background. You look cute in the white too. Thank you, my stylist. Shout out to my stylist. I love him. Yes, I, I love him. He's such a sweetheart. Yes, Lavelle. Lavelle, yes. hi, Lavelle. Shout out to Lavelle with a spoon. Yes. But, yes, um, that's another <laughs> reckless plug. He's been up here before. Yeah, he's been here before. Yes, I love him. He's so sweet. I just sing your voice the whole time. I sing your voice the whole time you sung let, that. Can you let Mike hear your voice? Can you give us something? Oh, I my sang goodness. It. What do you want me to sing? Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's not even his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday every day. All right, give us some. The, the new single. Which, what, my single? Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> no, sing that a layer. If you sing that a layer one time for me, that if you if your girl only knew. We get the line. We get the line. Listen, the man sing that said joint we get for me. <laughs> sing that joint for me, and I swear I'm gonna be the number one fan forever. Oh, okay. We can do that. That's a bad. So what song? What song? What song about Leah? If your girl only knew, just a piece Ooh, of yeah. it, a part of it, just something of it. If your girl only knew. That you was trying to get with me, what was she do? Mm -hmm. If your girl could <laughs> only see that you were calling me, getting mm -hmm. fresh with me, she probably believe you were alone. <laughs> Marilyn Rivers, y'all probably she can blow. <laughs> she can blow. Y'all yeah. not following Kill her. It. Please tell them how they can follow you and make sure you guys your music follow from. me. I suck with Twitter, y'all, just to let you guys know. I suck with Twitter too. I don't know how to work it that good, but uh, you definitely can follow me on uh, I'm Instagram on Facebook. and Marilyn Rivers. You got Facebook? Yeah. I don't have a Facebook. Get a Facebook, cause I don't even know nothing else. Everybody Facebook. been telling me to get a Facebook. I'm gonna get I a love Facebook. Facebook. I can't get Facebook. Away from Facebook, your Facebook, the truth. It is. I heard. Somebody was on here last. <laughs> somebody was on here last week and was like, "F Facebook." I was like, "Really? <laughs> you need help with Facebook? Facebook will help." They say Facebook we is like some, the number shout one. Shout out. We had some teenagers. We had some teenagers in here on Friday <laughs> talking about social media. Oh my goodness! And they were. I'm talking about like 15 year olds and oh. 14 year olds. And they was not feeling Facebook. They were saying Facebook is for old people. Oh my! That's goodness. what they said. You know, that's what they said. But you know. Like, I was they, trying to tell them that Facebook owns out. Instagram, so yeah, someone yeah, told them it, that it's all family. You know, what I mean? yeah, yeah, that's what they, they said. They need to chill. <laughs> yeah, so they was just breaking down every social media and telling people how to work Shout Snapchat. Shout out to the fifteen-year-olds who Shout love out Instagram. Shout out to the, the no people that don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Oh <laughs> so listen, I want to get your take on something because okay. R and B, the state of R and B right now. So Ty, I was listening to an interview with Tyrese, and he was basically saying that hip-hop is taking over and R&B is pretty much dead. You know, you have the R&B singer that's not getting 
the recognition that they deserve. You being an R&B singer in Baltimore, and you know, right now, the hip hop scene is really crazy right now in Baltimore. How do you, how do you feel about that? How Let me you tell you one thing. Let me start it off with saying this. We are missing the Aretha Franklins. We are missing to Tony Braxton's. We are missing the Monica's, the Brandy's. We are missing the Aaliyah's. Mm -hmm. That's what we were brought up on. Every time a young girl cries or she's sad or she goes through a moment in life, she turns on that radio and go back to that old stage. Yep. You know? She go back to that old station and listen to those old songs to make you feel. You ever hear an old song and it gets you up out your seat and you move Just around? something and, to your soul. You know? Mm -hmm. So one thing I can say, I do think that a lot of kids in, our gener in this generation, um, they tend to come up on, you know, the Rich Homie Kwans and et cetera. But I don't think that R&B is dead. I think that it's going to come back. I think that it's going to slowly move its way in, but I definitely think that it's going to come back. What's your passion? My passion? Your passion. My passion is music. No, I mean, what made you start singing? Well, actually, my mom and my grandmother was in the church. Uh, I was the, I was a kid that always fell asleep in church. And Wait a minute. Stop my head. Wait a minute. Because last night, I was at a cookout last night at my house, actually, and they said, everybody kept saying, well, you know she from Cherry Hill. I am. <laughs> Shout out to Cherry Hill. Yeah, I know a lot Charlie of good Hill people from Cherry Hill. Shout out. But they say she's from Cherry Hill. You should say that. She from Cherry Hill. So I'm like, how yeah. was Cherry Hill growing up for you? Oh, well, I was there for about, probably about three years. Oh, you're not from Hill. I am. <laughs> I am. I can't help with my mind wanting to move, but um, I loved it because we always had uh, talent shows. Mm -hmm. Talent shows. like they I had I'm talent a, shows in Hill. Yeah, I'm going to shout this out to <laughs> Anthony Jeta. Do you guys know who Anthony Jeta is? Anthony G. Mm -hmm. Anthony G. You know who Anthony G. is? Yeah. yeah. So he's, I know. Let me oh, tell yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can yeah. do an impersonation of Anthony G. <laughs> you can? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so you going to say... Got some tickets to the GD show. You want to come to the GD show? <laughs> we, we had Drew Hill at the GD show. We had Mario at the GD show. We we blew all these people up at the GD show. You sell these 10 tickets for $50 to bring me these tickets and put you on the stage to pile over for the GD show. Troy Patterson going to be at the GD show. Yep, Def, Troy yeah, Def Jam at the GD show. Thank oh, you very much. He was, well, he was like the face of talent show. <laughs> yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. And you know what? I used to Don't be judge so me. scared. <laughs> I was so scared to get on stage. I used to be so scared into this one time Anthony Gita said, you can't be on the show. He's Ooh. like, because the auditions is over. So I started working out singing Mariah Curry. So when I started working out singing Mariah Curry, he said, oh, 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 come, 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 come. <laughs> 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 so he said, you on the show, you on the show. Get these, I give you these 10 tickets, you sell them. He said, you know, you on the show. So I was excited. I went and I actually, I sung earlier a Leah song. And for some reason, I don't know, my body was on the stage, but my legs was walking off. And I started walking into the crowd. And I won that day. And ever since then, I was like, this is what I want to do. So to answer your question, mm -hmm. I started off singing in the church. But my passion came from, I got my first heartbreak. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, like Drew Hill, that Drew Hill song, and be like, we, we don't make love. I don't know why that was oh, the song, though. Why oh, yeah. was that the song for me? And I was so young. Wow. That was like we 99. We even tried. Oh, my goodness. And I just knew, I knew from since then. I mean, that was the only song that I really, really knew. And I used to listen to my mom sing that song um, early in the morning. Oh, that's my song. My mom used to sing that all yeah. the time. And I, had, I didn't hear that song until I turned Every time you start 19. singing, I'm thinking you're going to finish the song. I'll be getting into <laughs> it. I'm into it. But go ahead. Yeah, but my mom used to sing. My, my, my mom used to sing. Well, she still sings, but she loved Whitney Houston. So she, I used to just listen to her sing all the time, and my mom bought me a boom box. Why did she do that? You know, the, the boom box with the two little radios sitting on the yeah. side, it was five disc changer. Mm -hmm. My bro, I used to kill them. They hated me in that house. And there's eight of us. So imagine eight kids. Eight. Everybody is trying to do something different. But I'm just booming, you know, just they, like this music is just coming out of the system and I'm just singing over top of it. You know, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, oh my goodness. I was such a big fan. Yeah. yeah so. They're some big voices. Yes. You pulled them all off? Yes. Give me a, uh, give me a Britney. Eh. Christina. Okay. Um, let's see. You made it to say you we are beautiful, on. no matter what they say. Words can bring you down. 
Don't they bring it down today? I love Do y'all understand what's going on here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh my goodness. This brings back so many memories for me. But mm. listen, how has it been you as an R and B singer in Baltimore just trying to that that come up? You, it's, it's really it's, tough. Yeah, it's so dominated it's by really men tough. and rappers. How Not to put nothing on you, big owl. I ain't trying to call you out, baby. <laughs> but what I'm about to say is it's hard. For R and B singer, yeah, but it's like the rap is just like taking over. It's like putting water on ants. It's just like you cannot survive like this. Like I, I love Be More Brave. I really do. Yeah, yeah. I like her, mm. but you see how she just had to like branch off a little bit because it's really hard here in Baltimore to like try to come out as a singer. Like the rap gang has it shut down. Yeah. Like they, mm, they don't. I don't think they want to hear no slow song uh, in the club right now. Uh, I mean, you, you, I, I, I like a good I singer. Do. At the yeah. end of the day, a good singer will bring me out. The rappers, I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm really not feeling them like that. So I mean, if you come out with a good song uh, and you come uh, out with a I good concert, you one thing. I will come out. Oh, I mean, tell you guys one thing. It has really been good because I get a lot of emails for features. So let me that's tell you. Up. So that's what's yeah. up. So I do, I do want to put that out there. So a lot of rappers, they do want these songs that, you know, they got the female vocal on the background. So, yeah. I mean, shout I mean, out yeah, to Baltimore sh- rappers, but I mean, I need and like... And Sugar Mama Radios definitely support a lot of Baltimore yeah, rappers. Yeah, shout out to Baltimore we rappers. We all for it. But, you know, I like the singing, too. Yeah, I, like di- I like different kind of music, to be honest. And I love me some Merlin Rivers. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. So how did I you get the name Merlin too. Rivers? Okay, so I got the name Merlin Rivers. You know what? I'm, we gonna we gonna act like we didn't. I hear know. That. I'm just out <laughs> Miami because he's crazy. He's chilling. <laughs> but mm-hmm. I got the name Merlin Rivers because one day I was online and I just was like, let me go ahead and see if I punch in my actual, my real name is Shira, mm-hmm. and I punched it up, and I was like, you know, I was on YouTube. So when she, when I pump, I'm pressed in Shira and I typed it up, another girl popped up, and she got signed with Columbia Records. And she mm. was a singer and a rapper, and she was pretty. And I was like, oh, yeah, my God. Everything, really? You on fleek. Your eyebrows, <laughs> that little sexy mustache. I cannot. Fleek. Can you not tell her story? <laughs> so I said, he's crazy. So I said, I was like, you know what? I have to get me another name. So I was like, okay, so I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. And I was like... I can't say Baltimore. I'm not Charlie Baltimore. So I was like, oh, Merlin. I was like, I can use Merlin. So then I used the Merlin, and then I was like, something has to go with the Merlin. So I've been through so much. So I was like, well, I can't say hills. I can't say mountains. I can't say, I was like, rivers. Rivers. And I put it together, and that's how I came up with Merlin Rivers. Hey, I thought that was your real name. A lot of people I think I that. Because I called people out Charlie Hill, and they said they don't know. I said, Merlin Rivers, do you know who she is? It was like, <laughs> I don't know Marilyn Rivers. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I catch myself sometimes. Like yesterday, I was in Target, and a girl said, don't you sing? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God. She was like, I love your voice. She was like, your name is? And I was like, Cher, uh, Marilyn Rivers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely I get accustomed to it because sometimes, yeah. It's a catchy yeah. name, it's, though. Ca- it's, it's definitely, definitely a catchy, catchy name. Because we've been, I've been Googling you for the last five days, and I, I didn't... That's a catchy name. Yeah. Most definitely. So what do you got coming up? Uh, the last time I saw you perform was at Summer Jam. Um, and speaking of Summer Jam, <sighs> then I want you to tell me what you got coming up. But speaking of Summer Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. All right. So you had a little wardrobe malfunction. Yes, I did. What happened? I didn't see. I also wanted you to go a little later in the show. What yeah. happened? That was her that with was the her. shirt? That yeah, that was Nice. Her. Oh, yeah. She worked that. That was me. She worked that. That was me. What happened with your shirt? My bra popped. It did? But I kept on going. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I didn't stop. I made sure. Yeah. On a Janet? Yep. On a Janet. The on a Merlin. The whole Janet? No. No, no not no. the whole. No, 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 no. I caught it right before them, but I still performed. I didn't run off the stage, and I'm not going back out there, you know, and cry and all that. I still performed. Yeah, you definitely... Good. Yeah, you definitely where pulled was summer, it off like Where was Summer Jam at? I missed that. It was at um, Sound Stage. Soundstage. It was Soundstage. I was kind of bummed because I was the only singer, singer on mm-hmm. the show, and I went first. So I was kind of bummed. 
So I only performed probably in front of like uh, 15 people, maybe. I was there. <laughs> I but if, it's, if you can do, if you can sing in front of fifteen people, you can sing in front of a million. So, and that's what I was going to say because that was, that's what I was disappointed about. I'm like, she needs to go a little bit later, because that's why I said I can also tell that you probably didn't have management then, because man, a good management team would have made sure you went later in the show, especially with somebody yeah. of your caliber. Yeah. So that's why I said that um, earlier that I can tell was it nothing towards you or the act. It was just that. But you know, know what? You... I tried. I really, really tried to get pushed back. Mm -hmm. They would not push me back. They they was really strict about it. They were telling. Um, Somebody got to open up, huh? Yeah. They were really strict about it. They were saying, you know, that I had to go first because they already had the time. Cause, see, I got on the show late. Let me put that in there, too, because I don't want to bash the show because it gave me It was definitely a good show. I had a yeah. good time. But um, they already had the time slot set up. So first, I was only supposed to be on the carpet when you first come when you first came in. Okay. But then they pushed me back to actually being on the show, but I was the first act. Okay. So they it, they really were trying to push it back, but they had to make the show go on because they really supposed to start it earlier, but it ended up starting like I think like an hour and a half late. Yeah. Yeah, because we got there like was something like six o'clock, and I don't yeah. think it started to like almost nine. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and he we thought he thought he was like extremely late, and he just came. He just got there when you came when you went on. Oh, okay, yeah. So it was a, it was a good experience. It was a great experience for me. Um, it was it was my first time actually having a stylist and stuff, and dancers and a makeup artist, and a, you know, it was it was nice. So, so when when, you, when is your next thing? Yeah. Well, I'm not. I don't. I I don't want to put that out yet. I don't want well, to put that. I wanted to be. I wanted to be. I wanted to be a surprise. I want you guys to be like, okay. I want y'all to be like, I want you. I know you. You'll be <laughs> like, let me tell you, cuz. But I'm telling you guys, I got something really, really big. You guys, I'm telling you, you gonna wait. I mean, you gonna invite us? Of course. August 24th. So that's the exclusive part. We get August that. 24th. All right. August 24th. August 24th. Look forward. Yeah. I'm. I'm <laughs> write that down. Huh? The what? The Mix Festival. Yay! Okay, man. All right, well, he let it out. He let it out. <laughs> August the 24th, the Mix Festival. So you guys make sure you be there. Most definitely. Okay. Make sure you guys As, come Are we going to be live? Because you already know I'm just crashing it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just crashing the joint. Is this the Simon of the uh, bunch? Listen. Like, he, he gives me Mike Simon. That's Mike the Credit. Oh, my goodness. Like, I came yeah, last Mike week. The I Credit. week. I'm just crashing this I'm joint. I'm never going to forget him. I'm doing this for free, so Ever. I'm just crashing. <laughs> <laughs> this for free. Like, I'm doing this naturally, just to say I'm doing something with my time. You know? All right, so listen. I can't with Mike. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where, where, can they, where can our listeners, the viewers, where can they find you at? Where can, where can they find your music? I need you to drop all that right now. Lay it all on the table. Yes, well, they can find me on Instagram at Merlin Rivers. Mm -hmm. and, and they also can find me on SoundCloud, too, at Merlin Rivers. Well, it's going to be Merlin Dash Rivers because that's how they made me put the name in. Mm -hmm. And they also can find me on YouTube, too, also. So just Merlin Rivers, Merlin Rivers, Merlin Rivers. Merlin this, Rivers. I, I make it easy for everybody. I try to make it easy so it's just, you know, when they search you, you know, they don't have to be too complicated. So just Merlin Rivers. All right, so I'm going to get in a little bit into your business. Okay. Into your business. I'm ready. If you were stranded on the island, mm. what three things? Oh my goodness! What three things can Merlin Rivers ha need to take with her? What thing? Three things can you not do without? Three things I cannot do without my cell phone. But one. how you want to charge it on the island? A portable charger, the one that you clamp in your phone. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my makeup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the island, stranded. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I know somebody who likes it. I'm stranded. <laughs> Nowhere without it. Um. Ah, that's tough. Oh, water, food, liquor, Man. vodka. I'm getting some liquor. Nah, nah, I'm gonna say liquor. Um. Hookah? Oh, fresh paint underwear. Of course. I'm gonna tell you what I said. <laughs> Girl, I said. It's a rock. Oh my god! <laughs> you gonna be drunk? I on said the a island. vibrator. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I said my cell phone. But then I thought about. it. I was like, well, I can't take my cell phone because I can't, don't know how to. I'm not gonna be able to charge it. So I think I said, I said my vibrator. Oh, and batteries. 
for my vibrator. That's what I said. Oh, so okay. right. Well, I wouldn't be able to go on without liquor, hookah, and my wife. They, oh, that's so three. nice. That was a clean cut I answer. All, no, see, the kids, they, they, they'll, they'll, they'll be all right. But I'm just saying, I need those three things. If I'm good, we're going to ride or die forever. We, we good. Because we ain't say nothing about no man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, well, get, well, well, we ain't get into that. But I mean, <laughs> how, like, are you single? Yes. You, I like it that way. How, like, so what it. type of guys do you like? Because they always they want to know how they can get Merlin Rivers. You know what type of guy I like? The clean cut suit wearing guys with the briefcase. You said what? Really? What? Yes. You said you like what? The clean cut guy with the suit and the briefcase. Oh, for real? Yes. I'm so in love like with that guy on power. What is his name? Um, ghost. Ghost. Yes. <laughs> Jay. He, okay. I love him. I love him. Yes, so I love you him. Went, so you went, That's my ideal guy. So basically, really? so you went and did yes. your help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, but so you don't like the real. bad boys. You don't like bad I, boys. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't been there, done that. You know, that's here nor there. We all had our experiences. But I'm just saying, me is developing into a young lady now. You want that businessman? Uh yes. I would rather a man instead of someone that's trying to make a living out of the streets. I can. I dig mean, it. that's just me. I mean, everyone has their own opinion, but that's me. So let me. This was something we was talking about last week. Okay. And I had my two. Young ladies, one of them is my intern. He did a really good show. Shout out to Nyla and Don P. Shout out. Who's okay. in the building. So basically, they, put, they brought up a really good point last week about women and business. And basically, women needing men to come up. Mm. What you think? Mm. Do I think that women need men in order to come up? Mm-hmm. No. They said every successful woman, there was a man behind. There has been a man. That's what Diamond said. There has been a man behind her that. Now, are we talking about in is. general or, or, or are we talking about music? music? We're talking music. about music, business. Industry. Career. Well, no, you have some women that came up because uh, they had their family members and stuff behind them, too. Like fathers that was management. Fathers are men. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, you're right. you know what? Gotcha. Let me tell you something. Right, let, me tell you, let me say it this way. Because we have an artist here and she's so nice, I'm going to explain <laughs> it a nice way. Oh, God. The reason why a woman coming up needs a man is, is not because you know of a skill or brain level. It's not that. It's so we can filter out the sharks because... You know, this is a male-dominated industry, okay? And so you got you know, the promoters are usually men. Brandy had her mother. Every, uh, who? Brandy. She had, had a mother? She had a mother. She had a father, father. too, right? She, she had a mother. Her mother was her manager. Her mother was her, her mother. manager. Chris Brown. Yeah, but she, Chris Brown. It. Mother. That's fine. That's fine. And, and, and Tina out, Davis. We're not talking the about manager men. We're talking not about women. Oh, the on. manager didn't put her out. The manager went to a man to and man. said... <laughs> You know, and she auditioned for a man. But my point is, is that the men is supposed to be able to filter out, you know, the producer that's trying, you know, okay. take you here. And the, the other rappers, the one the features that's Leona trying Lewis? to do this. So the man, you know, keeps that away from What about from Leona you. Lewis? Who? She, Leona Lewis. She's, she's really trying to think of people. Okay. I mean, she's making she's good props. props. But you do understand all the labels are run by men. What about Merlin Rivers? <laughs> she's going to sign to a label that is owned and run by Listen, a man. Listen, I was going to say, I thought she's going to say Kanan. I thought she was going to say Kanan. Uh-huh. I really did. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but listen, we need each other, though. We need each other. We need each other. Men need the women, and the women need the men. It's one, you know. I agree. One big uh-huh. no, no, I, I kind of agree with you this week. Last week was kind of hectic, but okay, this yeah, week, I was I was talking crazy. Yeah, last week, this but week yeah. I kind of, I kind of. <laughs> you know why I, I think that it's always best to have a man to back you though when you're a female artist, because I'm not saying that they won't try their hand a little bit, but at least they can keep their hands off of you. Yeah, straight because up. Because yeah. they come full force. Yes. Especially that, when you're... Yes. When, oh, you my know, God. When, yes. Yes. Like, when you're you attractive, know, I've it's told hard. you that. Uh, even dealing with you with the show. Artists oh, coming at you. Yes. Mm-hmm. It'd be like they'd be trying to holler. They'd be trying to pass you. they mixtape. They'd be trying to do a whole yeah. bunch of stuff. And one... Just one meet and greet. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, damn, slow down. Which one is it? Which one... What? what, what let me... <laughs> <laughs> Which one you want to do first? Like, yeah, I ain't going to do all of them, but you saying everything in one meet and greet. That's a bit much. <laughs> so, yeah. I, so, yeah. to answer your question, you feeling like a woman can be 
successful wilder man back in, uh, in her career? I don't think she would be as successful. I mean, that's real tough. It's, See, it's really tough. That's real tough. That's real talk. I mean, I like I like. I'm glad somebody can just be honest. Because about look at what Keisha and Manny. Keisha wouldn't have got as far as she did with, without Manny. Keisha and who? Manny, her manager. He really held it down for her. Manny, that yeah, know who Manny is, right? I know who Manny uh, is, but Keisha Cole. Man, Keisha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. oh, you gotta say the name. Oh, okay. but you don't think sometimes it be the talent, not who they backing them up, who backing them up. No. It's hard. Didn't no. didn't Super DJ Big L tell you it's more to it than just that? It's deeper yeah. than rap. But you gotta have talent though. Talent's part Some of it. Some people don't have talent. But you don't have to have big. talent. You gotta have a good good team behind you. You don't have to have talent. Yeah, yeah if you got that Leona right team, didn't think you got a good Leona producer and first. good and a good team. <laughs> you don't need talent. I mean, you have a lot of people that's even really really big in the industry and they can't even perform. They not even performers. Yeah. But they they're huge. That's all depends on your team. About Rihanna, but she's she's gotten a whole oh, lot. Oh, don't you hate on Rihanna? I'm not hating on Rihanna. Not, on, the, not on my watch. I'm, the, I'm a part of the Navy. Oh, all right. No not on my saying. watch. I mean, after like I had a um an intervention oh. today. All right, let me ask you this: Would you rather go to? Would you pay your money for a show that's going to give you entertainment or someone that's going to stand there for the whole twenty minutes? Entertainment. 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 Definitely. Norma Jeans, you're absolutely right. <laughs> We got two minutes. Two minutes again. Let them know where you, they can find Merlin Rivers at, find the music, I all that good stuff. And, good. and your know. manager said we can get a line of the new single. Oh, man. A line. A sh- we need a Sugar Mama <laughs> Radio. That's what Keenan said. Every singer. Uh, but I, every time I watch, I've seen the rappers freestyle, the singers sing. And I've never seen a singer just sing. I saw, can we get a line? A line you, from where? Can you sing to me? My own, my, 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 uh, my song? I mean, Sugar Mama Radio. Feeling like I'm stressed out. Where is my homies? Where is my sister? You know I fucking need ya. Where is my mother? Where is my father? Where is my brothers? Yeah. Am I the only one? Mm. Marilyn Rivers, y'all. I would have screamed to the top of my voice. That's personal for me, you guys. I really don't like singing it too much because it's kind of personal. She was like, where's my... I was this like, me. It really, it really is. Like, I wrote it about 15 minutes. I'm like, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Merlin Rivers, y'all. Keep it Merlin. locked. <laughs> Keep it locked. Sugar Mama Radio. This Shout is out to Sugar, Sugar Mama Radio. Show. I love you guys. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Thank you. Thank you for coming it. through. It's been a long time coming. And it has, haven't it? Yeah. I know, right? Oh, I'll be back, what? though. I meant to I'll tell you, back. I found those pictures from um, Summer Jam. You did? I For some reason, to me. I don't know how and how it did it, but it backed up onto my Dropbox. Okay, so you have to send them over to me. Yep. I need those ASAP. Yep. You know, I flood my Instagram. I don't care. Yep. Even if I get 12 likes, I still put it up. All right. So, again, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram at Merlin Rivers. Okay. I like your Instagram. Okay. Again, Instagram, at Merlin Rivers. Twitter, when you want to get on it. I know. At yeah. Merlin Rivers. <laughs> at Merlin Rivers. SoundCloud, Merlin, Merlin Rivers. Rivers. Instagram, Merlin Rivers. Everything, YouTube, Merlin, Merlin Rivers. Rivers. And I, I swear, if y'all live in Baltimore City, and y'all, actually, if you live anywhere in the United States and you do not know how to spell Merlin and Rivers, mm-hmm. yeah. So, <laughs> thank you for coming through. Sugar Mama Radio. Make sure y'all tune in every Monday, 6.30, color people time, to 8.30. <laughs> We here every Monday on RadioOnFire.com, Sugar Mama Radio. We give you more talk, more music, more news. And I probably scrambled that up again, but I think it's more music, more news, more talk. Is that still wrong? Sugar Mama Radio, y'all. <laughs> Monday, 6.30. Tune in. That was good.